A group of city planners and designers have gathered at the Butterfield Community Center on a weekday afternoon. And, you know, they're all hypothetical scenarios. I mean, you wouldn't have to lay out the road exactly in this way. It's just they're here to get input from residents on what will be a comprehensive plan for all of Doña Ana County. Susan Henderson is the principal of the private firm Placemakers. We ask, okay, what's wrong with this plan? Even though it's your preferred plan, how could it get better? What could make it more true to the community, what makes the place. And we get them to help us edit the plan, and then we understand what that means to the code. Well, I'm sitting down at what looks like a drafting table. That's because there's somebody at every one of these meetings drawing pictures to show what these codes would actually look like. Andrew is the one who's drawing pictures at this meeting. He talks to residents here at the Butterfield meeting pen in hand. Also here is the Community Development Director for the county, Dan Hordert. He's probably the closest to the action, especially once a plan is finalized. A lot of people's attitudes have changed. Um, the way they look at uh, zoning and, and, and the way that they interact with, you know, where they live versus where they shop and where they work. Um, you know, kind of bringing that together, in a sense, is, is the way people are starting to look at uh, um, the way that they, they want to live you know, in their communities. When it comes to implementation of these plans, the Comprehensive Plans Project Manager, Will Gleason, says a lot of these plans are filled with shoulds. And it's probably more effective to have more shalls than shoulds and make sure, the good thing about Viva Doniana is that it's not just a comprehensive plan, but you're also revising the zoning code. And, in a re and really, the zoning code is the hammer for the for the comprehensive plan. So the zoning code kind of takes the the concepts and the intent of the comprehensive plan and translates it into zoning, which becomes much more of a, a, a sort of a, a site level decision making body. This is the first time Doña Ana County's development code has seen a major overhaul since 1995. Sloan Patton, KRWG News.